Hello guys, it's unit 4, part F. Now, fourth stage of labor. And this stage is normally not asked in the exam, so no need to worry. For general knowledge purpose, you need to know. This fourth stage is from the birth of the placenta till one hour. Like if the placenta is removed on 9-5, then another, like until 10-5, the fourth stage is continued. Here we will be closely observing the mother, like we will check the vital signs frequently, BP, pulse, temperature and mainly the bleeding. And emotionally stable or not, we will be checking her. If she is feeling any anxiety or she is mentally affected or not, we will be checking her continuously. And we will even examine her to find if any critical condition is found in mother or not. For example, there is any kind of hemorrhage in the uterus or not, like that we will be checking her. Taking care of the mother after the delivery is known as fourth stage. Okay. Maintaining records and reports. It's very important. And it begins from the beginning of the labor till the end. Not just beginning of the labor. From the beginning of the pregnancy, the report will be maintained. And even after the birth, the motherhood is also maintained in the form of record. Okay. Everything will be recorded and we need to maintain it. Starting from prenatal, all kind of checkups should be maintained and during labor, what kind of drug, fluids and any methods like episiotomy, if anything is performed, that will be recorded and we need to maintain those records. And after delivery, if any kind of medications are given, those also will be recorded and we need to maintain it. This is all for the study purpose. In further, it will be useful. So, we need to maintain it and mainly we need to check mental health, physical health, physiological health sociological health how the patient is uh, reacting with all how the patient is talking to all she is normal or not everything should be checked and everything will be recorded and we need to maintain it this is known as maintaining of record and what are the uses of this let's come to know that the use of maintaining these records are mainly for the study purpose it will be useful for many students for study purpose like if the students are from nursing they will go and ask the patient what are the records they have we will use it for study purpose right like that and from treatment purpose, for example, if the patient is maintaining the record, by seeing those records, the doctor will come to know for what medication the patient is allergy or for what medication she is so frequently used to. So, he can provide those medications so that she will get healed fastly. And for nursing, nursing students, for making care plan, it is very useful. And for doctor, as I said, to avoid few kinds of medicines, it is very useful. Vaginal examination. Vaginal examination you can see of two types that is first one is during the labor and second one is after the labor. After the labor in the sense after giving birth the mother comes for regular checkup and that time they will be checking the vaginal examination will go on and that is second type. First we will discuss about second type and later I will say the first one that is during labor how vaginal examination is done. In this one. First, the doctor follows the standard measures like, you know, sanitizing the hands, wearing the gloves and applying lubricants on the hands. Everything will be performed. We will advise the patient to lay down in the lithotomy position. This is lithotomy position. And in this position, after laying down, doctor will insert their left hand, either one or two finger inside the vagina. And alternatively, the right hand will be pressing on the belly that is will be pressing the uterus at the belly they will be pressing the uterus by pressing and by inserting the doctor will find if any kind of abnormalities will be examined if any unusual growths or if any kind of lumps if anything is present the doctor will come to know this examination is done after the delivery in the routine checkup vaginal examination and this process is followed during the labor process okay and now in this process, doctor will follow all the standard methods of hygiene like washing his hands, forehands and wearing sterile gloves, everything will be followed. After that, vulva toileting will be done in the sense, antiseptic solutions will be applied over the vulva to clean the area. After cleaning, antiseptic lotions will be applied over the area. After applying, now the procedure begins. Doctor by using his left hand, he will separate the libia minora. Okay. By using the left hand, the doctor will separate the libia minora. And then by using his right hand, he will insert either the middle finger or the index finger inside the vagina. 
and those fingers like right hand fingers will be covered with antiseptic cream how the procedure is done by using the left hand the doctor separates the labia minora by using the right hand either middle finger of the index finger or even two fingers will be insert inside the vagina and this procedure is done during the labor to see how much dilation of cervix is done to see whether the delivery is going in the proper way or not this is vaginal examination these are the questions from unit 3 and unit 4 you will get it for 17 marks so do practice well That's it for today guys. Meet you in the next video. Until then stay tuned. Bye.